The International Relations Department has confirmed that the U.S. Ambassador to South Africa, Ruben Brigetti, has apologized for alleging that the country sold weapons to Russia to use in the war against Ukraine. On Thursday, Brigetti told local media that U.S. intelligence was confident that arms and ammunition had been loaded onto a Russian ship near Cape Town in December last year. President Sir Ramaphosa has ordered an inquiry which a retired judge will chair. The department spokesperson, Clayson Monella, explains. The Department of International Relations and Cooperation has summoned the United States Ambassador to South Africa and expressed the South African government's utter displeasure with his conduct and statements alleging that South Africa sold weapons to Russia. The department finds this behavior by the United States Ambassador to South Africa puzzling and at odds with the mutually beneficial and cordial relationship that exists between the United States of America and South Africa. Ambassador Ruben E. Brigetti admitted that he crossed the line and apologized unreservedly to the government and people of South Africa. South Africa is known globally for having one of the most stringent processes when selling arms to other countries. The process is managed by the National Convention Arms Control Committee, which was created through an act of parliament, the National Conventional Arms Control Act 41 of 2002 and the constitution. Derko welcomes the decision by His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa to appoint an independent inquiry to be chaired by a retired judge to look into the allegations made by the U.S. Ambassador to South Africa. This process will allow for facts to be established and for role players to be identified. Anyone found to have broken the law will face severe consequences. South Africa calls on the U.S. Embassy in Pretoria to use established diplomatic channels of communication to convey any concerns or to seek clarity on any misunderstandings that may arise in the management of the bilateral relationship between the two countries.